Hey guys, welcome to another Top 5 Tech, this time featuring Anna for the fourth time. Let's get right into it. Number 1. For the duration that Anna's ult is buffing someone, her next one doesn't charge. Due to this, it might be a good idea to switch to damaging enemies while it's active, assuming that whoever you ult isn't getting bursted too hard. What this does is, first, you help to burst down the enemy team, and the combination of Anna and the ulted, usually close range teammate is surprisingly powerful. Two, that teammate frequently has about half health coming out of the ult, which you can now use to charge your next one, whereas if you focused instead on healing that tank during the ult, you would have gained no charge because the ult was active. Number two, shoot at teammates in anticipation of them taking damage. The healing from the shots proc on full health targets, and since it's heal over time, as soon as they take damage, they will begin to heal. This is typically the best thing to do when your team is topped off and there are no enemies to aim at, and it could be the necessary step to prevent them from being bursted. Number 3. This is sort of a correction to a previous tech. So I might have misled you guys when I brought up quickscoping before. So quickscoping actually extends the amount of time between your shots significantly. What I wanted to mention on the topic of this is, if your goal is to achieve the maximum fire rate and heals per second possible, then you should avoid spamming into your scope too often, and should stick with either no scoping or hard scoping for extended periods of time. As an added tip, I still recommend jumping while popping in and out of your scope rapidly if you're in a 1v1 sniper fight or are trying to reposition. Number 4. Due to the recent update causing Sleep Dart to keep enemies on the ground for 0.5 seconds after activation, you can prevent certain enemy ults with it, but if you feel like Winston is about to ult because he recklessly jumps in the middle of your team, Sleep Dart him when he's at something like 2 fifths health, that's 200 health. The inability to ult will likely cause him to die to your team for free. This potentially works on any ult, but works better on Bastion, Torbjorn, Winston, and Zenyatta, as you can prevent their survivability related ults while they're at low health. Number 5. After you sleep dart someone, if you're 5 seconds away from your grenade's cooldown, you can just wait for it to come off the cooldown as they're sleeping, assuming that you're in a safe area, as the duration of the sleep matches that 5 second cooldown. Waiting for it can definitely make the difference between scoring a kill or not, as 60 extra damage plus the health pack denial will usually result in a kill. Alright guys, well that was my list, I hope you learned something, and have a good one. I'd like to give a quick thank you to Michael for donating $25 on Patreon, and a few other people for altering their pledges from $15 to $25, those being Shadow, Hannah, and Seth. Thanks for helping me realize this, I really wouldn't be able to do it without you. 